Um, so I've uh, made a few mistakes along the way. Not gonna lie. Happy to, happy to admit it. Um, and mistakes are a good thing because you learn from your mistakes. Most of the time. mistake and probably the one that's still the hardest to sort of grasp is it doesn't need to be done overnight. I've built a lot of capsule wardrobes examples for this channel and there's been many times where I have rushed to create a capsule wardrobe and it sort of comes out as a disaster. So I've definitely learned to sort of take a moment, <laughs> be a little bit slower, take a little more time, maybe plan well in advance. But I think especially for me personally in my general minimalist wardrobe, I've sort of embraced that it is just a journey and that I don't really want it to be over right away because I actually really enjoy the process. And I think when you do that, it becomes more of a enjoyable journey versus a overwhelming task, if that makes sense. I can't believe I'm going to say this because I have said on previous episodes like years ago that color doesn't really matter <laughs> or that you can use color what if you have neutrals you can bring in whatever colors you want all this I've said a lot I've definitely made the mistake of bringing in an outside piece especially when it comes to like foundational pieces what are foundational pieces for me specifically uh it's bottoms t-shirts, shirts, uh, the pieces that are actually creating a socially acceptable outfit, like that are actually required <laughs> for an outfit so that you're not, you know, topless or bottomless or whatever. Um, and when I've stepped outside of my color palette with those, I usually regret it because they are sort of the foundation to my outfit. So they then kind of disrupt the flow of my mixing and matching. But where I do think you can have some fun with colors and prints and that sort of thing are things like layers or accessories because they're much more transitional. It's an easier one to just add in versus work around. I am definitely an overthinker in most aspects of my life and all aspects of my life. Um, but <laughs> creating a capsule wardrobe has definitely helped me to sort of let that go a bit because I think it is something I can control. You know, the outcome of my capsule wardrobe is something I can control. So it is sort of therapeutic in that regard. I used to really like dive deep into the pieces that I was bringing in. Like I know I always speak to being intentional and making sure you're bringing in pieces that are you know, functional and, you know, have multi-purpose and all these different things. But I think at the end of the day, it really just comes down to, do I love this piece? Is it quality? Is it versatile? Good to go. Which brings me to my next mistake, which is over cleansing. When I started my minimalist journey, I mean, I got thorough with my wardrobe and my wardrobe was quite eclectic. You know, like if we're trying to figure out one word, that would probably be the one. Definitely think in my 20s, I just went through a whole style discovery. Like I've said in previous episodes, I, I had sort of like an identity crisis. I, I think in my 20s, which is fine. I think that's normal and I think it's good because I think you kind of work through a lot of things. Um, so in that regard, I think it was good because it was sort of like a reset and it was sort of a cleanse. But I think at the same time, I went a little too overboard in retrospect. I think it was quite good for me because it was sort of this process of me starting over. Um, I think it was just that I took it a little too literal for a little too long. Which brings me to my next mistake. Going too basic. Yeah, like I said, I think when I first started out with like a minimalist wardrobe and capsule wardrobes, I thought that it had to be super basic, super neutral, like simple lines, no details, but I think what I realized with it 
over some time. When I started my channel, I was still sort of in this like basic mode. I think I was like slowly starting to kind of bring some fashion back in. So it was sort of like a transition on this channel. But I think what I realized was being too basic was a little too boring. And I think it was just not sustainable for me because for somebody that just by default and just in spirit is just somebody that loves fashion and style and creativity, um, it just became stagnant for me and just not engaging. I think that's where you have to be careful is not going too basic and not thinking you have to stay in this basic classic realm, which I think is a big part of my channel. So I think obviously you guys know that. That's how I feel. Having foundation of basics and classics, it's good, but then gives you room to play and build off of that. One of my biggest mistakes, and this is gonna sound quite trivial, is skimping on layers and outerwear. Kind of goes back to in the beginning when I thought I just sort of had to get rid of all the personality, all the fun all their creativity. So as I went through this journey of these different realizations uh, and started to come to the terms that I could bring in some fun, bring back in that fashion, bring back in that creativity, that personality, some trends, whatever it may be, um, just things that I loved, things that I was, I was pulled in by. I realized I was skimping on pieces like layering pieces and outerwear. And really to me, that was where I could have a lot of fun and still be able to interchange between different style personalities that I had and also still keep that classic foundation um, and really be able to invest in that foundation and still be able to interchange between different style personalities that I had and then also be able to feel comfortable to invest in those more statement unique pieces because I now knew I could easily just add them to my more classic basic pieces and really elevate those pieces. Um, and it started to make me realize how much flexibility I really had and how much diversity those pieces added. And I definitely realized the power um, that a good jacket has and they're just so interchangeable. So you could literally have the same outfit foundation, the same basic outfit foundation and completely change the mood and feel and emotion of that outfit with just adding in a different cardigan or a different jacket, different blazer, different uh, overcoat was just magical. And I, I'm surprised at how long it took me to really realize that, um, the power of a layering piece. Yeah. Is that what we're gonna end it on? Yeah, that's what we're gonna end it on. Mm -hmm.